Hello, everybody. I'm here to do a product review. Uh, I don't do very many of these, but, and usually when I do, it's for a product that really, really is impressive. It's on me at the moment. And it's lipstick. It's by Yves Saint Laurent. And the color is number 27. It's from one of their collections. Let's see if I can read it. Rouge Pour Couture. I just butchered that. Uh, French is not my language. Um, this is it. It's a very bright, vibrant pink. I first heard about this watching a video by Lisa Eldridge. I'll post a link to the video down below when I upload this. But apparently she was out shopping for one maker product, saw this lipstick and uh, fell in love at first sight. And I just thought it looked fabulous on her. She did a makeup tutorial with it. With the link below, you better have a look at that. But this is the colour. This is it swatched on the back of my very pale hand. It is so bright, guys, right? I'm going to slap a bit of it on. That's it now. On my eyes, I have just got blue all over, soft brown in the crease, and some gel eyeliner in a small cat eye. All the products, the eyeshadow products are MAC and the, cat, the eyeliner is the Stila Smooch Pot, but I'll put that all down below. On top of this, lipstick. It doesn't need it, but it's getting it anyway. I've been using a gloss by Revlon, it's one of their, I um, can't remember which. This is so annoying, can't read the name of the colour on the bottom. Pooey. No, can't read the colour on the bottom, guys. Sorry. But it's a bright, I think it's called Hot Pink. It's one of their, um, uh, I can't remember the name of the thing. There's a name on it anyway. Not super lustrous. It's one of the <laughs> other ones. And this is a serious pink. No, I'm loving this as well. This is not a review for this, but over that lipstick, if you have a look, guys, it is fantastic. This lipstick I purchased um, not long after I watched Lisa Eldridge's video. I was just about to turn 40 and I wore it pretty much the look I have now. A little bit heavier on the cheeks, a bit more blush and a bit more contouring because um, today was sort of the only thing that stood out was this. <laughs> People were looking at me walking around the shops. <laughs> well, I was in the hospital today. For most of the day and then I stopped on the way home to pick up, uh, believe it or not, a pot of Weight Watchers strawberry jam. So I'm sure when I was up at Super Valley they were looking at me <laughs> with the big bright pink lips. But seriously guys, this is a lovely colour. It's not the most moisturising lipstick I've ever put on to me, I'll be honest with you. No point saying it is. It is expensive and um, I had a voucher so uh, I had signed up for that, the Debenham store card, you know the one where you earn points and I buy a lot of stuff from Devon's and it, just, it was just loading onto my card and when I went to use my card I got a significant discount off the lipstick so I don't know how much uh, it is retail, it's probably about 30 euro or something silly like that, I, I don't know, it's around that mark, but I didn't pay, the, didn't even think I paid half that, however, it's a, it is a lovely colour, so red just doesn't do anything for me, it's just it really does nothing for me. Makes my teeth look yellow. But for those of you out there who have been commenting on my blanks video, this is the after. I used the blanks whitening system on my teeth there for a while, so this will be both a review of this product and an update on that. They are quite white. If you look at the original video, I'll link that down below as well. And uh, I used it. For a couple of weeks, and then I didn't use it for a while, and then I used it again for a couple of weeks. But I find pink, this particular shade of pink, doesn't. I don't think it makes my teeth look yellow. I hate lipsticks that make my teeth look yellow. Seriously, guys, there's nothing more 
disgusting. Then yellow teeth, really and truly. Nasty. I'm not sure what the undertone is in this, but I mean, as lipsticks go, look at the packaging, guys, though. Seriously. It's seriously gorgeous packaging. It's gold. It has the Eve Saleron sitting on the front. It's neat. Fits lovely in my purse. And it does have good staying power. I mean, what I normally would do is put it on, blot it, put a bit of powder over a little bit of tissue, blot that into it, and then put a second layer on. And you get a good, you can eat with this on, and it'll still be there. It won't be as vibrant, it won't be as in your face, but it'll actually still be there. It's a nice lipstick. Again, it's not the most moisturizing, so if you're looking for something that is going to moisturize the crap out of your lips, and you think that this is it, the job, you might be disappointed, lads, because it's not, and I have very dry lips. And if you don't have very dry lips, you might say, well, it is quite moisturizing, but I have very dry lips, and it takes a hell of a lipstick to moisturize these dry circles of dry skin. Anyway, that's it. It is the Yves Saint Laurent Rouge Pour Couture, number 27, and I think it's Fuchsia Innocent is the name of color. Yay, my Alzheimer's has lifted. But number 27, it is gorgeous color. Um, I'm very pale skinned, and it, it doesn't overpower me. And I'd say it would look, it would be more subtle on someone with a darker skin tone. But on me, it's just, it's lovely, in my opinion, it's great if you want to do the whole Audrey Hepburn, simple eyes with a little cat wing, and then have the bright in your face slightly in your face, but not completely in your face lipstick. So that's my review of this lipstick and um, I hope some of you find it helpful. If you want any further information on the product, please, please feel free to leave a message below. If you want any other information. Thanks very much for watching guys. See you now.